Remember the novel Frankenstein that Mary Shelley wrote 190 years ago? Well, that is kind of the heart of a traveling display at the UNM Health Sciences Center. And this was developed by the National Library of Medicine. It's called Frankenstein Penetrating the Secrets of Nature. Joining us now, Dr. Rex Young and Dr. Jerry Jonas with the Mind Research Network. I want to thank you so much. Now, your area is very interesting. And this is really taking a look at building a better mind, similar to how we body build. And now you're looking at joining engineering and also neuroscience and building a better mind. How does this work? Well, right now we're in a research phase and we're just beginning to really penetrate this very complex issue of how the brain really works. How does the brain learn? How does it think? How does it decide? And what can we do to enhance it? And we're beginning to use imaging techniques at the Mind Research Network and modeling techniques using large computers to really understand the brain a lot better to see how we can enhance it. Actually, there are a lot of people who are enhancing on their own. I read an article about college students and some scientists who are heavily into research using medications like Ritalin. Yeah, Ritalin, Modafinil. Um, there's uh, several medications that... Uh, uh, this came out in the journal Nature uh, recently that they'd done a survey showing that several uh, scientists uh, use these medications to enhance their cognitive performance. And based on your research, do they actually increase your cognitive performance? Uh, not, uh, not based on my research, but there is evidence to show that they do increase attention, uh, learning, working memory, uh, but there's also a downside to these medications as well. And that is? Well, these medications can interact with your uh, ongoing medication regimen, so you don't know if you're taking these off-label that they could interact with blood pressure medication. You could have uh, strokes at the worst case scenario. Okay. Now, you're more of a physicist and engineer type. How are you joining that with this research on the brain? Well, it turns out that the enhancing technology, the technology of imaging the brain, looking into the brain and seeing how it works, how it is wired, when you learn something, how does the brain change? How does the wiring change? What other factors change that? Well, that begins to look a little bit more like engineering. For instance, we know that when some part of your brain is working hard, it needs more oxygen. That oxygen can be brought to the brain by the blood flow. And so we can image where the blood is, go where the blood is going, and then from that produce a mechanism for enhancing that process. So should I take oxygen when I'm trying to study? It wouldn't help if you took some deep breaths once in a while. For instance, one of the issues is just, are you calm? Are you, are you at the right level of stress? If you're overstressed for the exam, you're probably going to be learning poorly. And if you're under stress, you're probably going to be bored. Okay. So what is this optimal level of stress? From an engineering point of view, it would be nice if we knew how to measure that stress. Very good. Well, it's very interesting, and I really want to encourage people to check out this exhibit. Again, it's going on at the UNM Health Sciences Library Monday through Friday. That is through May 31st. It is from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Really appreciate you coming in. I love hearing about all of this stuff. Thank you. Back to you.